Hi. Let's start with taking a deep breath. A lot of people talk about the rain as if the rain is something sad. But is the rain really something sad? What if the rain just is? Similarly, a lot of people might assume that you are thinking, you are introspecting, you are processing, because you are bothered, because you are depressed. But what if you are just thinking because you are thinking? What if thoughts just are? I believe there is something truly cleansing about the rain. When it rains, we can truly relax. The rain washes away all stress, all worries. The rain just is. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. Having an imagination, having thoughts, having experiences, being sensitive are hallmark qualities of being able to truly enjoy the immerseness, the vastness of life, of thought and of depth. The fact that you are sensitive is also the reason why you can experience life so vividly, so beautifully, just the way it is. Imagine if the world was just flat, if experiences had only the most faint edge to them. What if there was no nuance in the world? What if there was no thought? A lot of people, they fear thinking, they fear being deep. They fear having profound insights and experiences inside. A lot of people think that the key to happiness is going out, it's meeting up with friends, it's being busy, it's having work, it's having something to do, it's having a message to read on your smartphone. But what if happiness is something so much more simple? What if happiness is to be able to sit by the window, to hear the falling of the rain, to relax, to breathe, to be alive? with your mind, your thoughts, fully clear, fully real, fully heard. I don't know if you've ever heard of that thing we call flow. Flow is when everything is and comes together as one. Flow is feeling that ultimate feeling of Zen. Flow is relaxation, it's confidence, it's energy, it's passion, it's purpose, all coming together in balance, in harmony, perfectly. For an INFP, flow is a lot like the rain. Thoughts running down, washing over you, cleansing you. Feelings, they come and go. And that is the magic of having feelings. That is the magic of having introverted feeling. Allowing yourself to have and let go of feelings. Allowing yourself to have and allow yourself experiences, perspective, meaning. So let yourself, let your thoughts wash over you, let your feelings cleanse you, let yourself feel better because you have the ability to feel. Don't worry, feelings can't hurt you. Feelings can only remind you of who you are. Feelings can only remind you that you are alive. Take a deep breath. Allow yourself to have whatever feelings that you have. Breathe out. Allow yourself to let go of whatever it is you have. And allow new things to come. INFPs, they are not meant to get stuck in one thought, in one emotion, in one experience. INFPs are alive, dynamic beings that change, that grow, 
that constantly reframe, gaining new perspectives, gaining new wisdom. INFPs are not meant to live just one life, just one experience. INFPs are meant to live a million lives, a million experiences. That's why you can relate to so many people. That's why you can identify with so many different situations and so many possible experiences. You are not just one person. You are many people baked together in one. So what can you do if the rain won't come? If your thoughts aren't here with you? If new feelings won't show themselves to you? What can you do if you feel stuck? Reframe. Go back inside. Listen to yourself. Tune out of all the distractions around you. Turn off your phone. Take a break from work, from your parents' expectations, from everything other people tell you to do, tell you to be. Take a step back. Create your own inner garden, your own place where you can be truly yourself. Create a room or an atmosphere around you that promotes harmony and balance. A place where you can recharge, a place where you can let go of everything outside. Tune in to things that stimulate your imagination. Games, books, stories, poems, music, things that will hit you right in the neurons, things that will tickle you, things that will amuse you, things that will teach you that the world is a fascinating, unusual, magical place. Finally, if you can't have that, if you can't relax, if your flow won't come, if the rain won't fall, Take it easy, take a step back, slow down. You don't have to rush yourself. You don't have to be in a hurry to be happy. You can just let things take time. You're not in a rush. It will come. It will happen. Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor, and I hope this video was able to help you just as making it helped me.